All right, I have the pleasure of sitting with founder and CEO of the HBCU Week Foundation, Ashley Christopher. Hey, Ashley, how good are you? Good morning, good to see you. <laughs> yes, good morning. Listen, I am really excited because you're doing something amazing. So you run the foundation for HBCU Week and you have a week long of events coming up, don't you? Yes. I think it's really great. How did you get this started though? I'm really curious. So HBCU Week was founded back in 2017 mm -hmm. under the administration of Mayor Mike Perzicki. Um, he tasked me with coming up with some ideas that were focused solely on Wilmington's most underserved communities. Okay. So I wanted to do something with education and I saw that he had hired a lot of HBCU alum on the staff. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Okay. I, the chief of staff, Tani Washington, she's a graduate of Norfolk State, mm -hmm. an array of department directors are also HBCU alum. Wow. So myself being a double HBCU alum. Where did you attend? I went to Howard University. I graduated okay. in 2007. Awesome. And then I went back to school for law school when I went to the University of DC, which is also oh, an nice. HBCU. Ooh, yeah. look at you, double HBCU alum. I like it. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. I was up the street from you at Coppin State. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Indeed. So I think this is really exciting and I had no idea. So I left Delaware came back and one of the first events that I got to attend was Battle of the Bands. Mm -hmm. I had no idea it was a part of this larger idea to celebrate HBCUs. Mm -hmm. um, how did you come up with the concept to do a week long worth of events to celebrate HBCUs? So when I was at Howard, I was vice chair of the Howard Homecoming Steering <laughs> Committee. Epic. Yes, yeah, so it gave me like a really clear backdrop on mm -hmm. large scale event planning. Okay. If you've ever been to Howard Homecoming, Definitely. like literally hundreds of thousands of people Yes. every year. Everyone flocks yeah, there. To, to, to Howard's campus. So being vice chair, that really gave me the backdrop I needed mm -hmm. for in a large scale, a large scale event process. Um, originally, it was just something I discussed with the mayor mm -hmm. to engage maybe 200 Wilmington area students with five HBCU admissions counselors okay. because I wanted people to understand the benefits of attending an HBCU. Oh, so this isn't yeah. really about just celebrating, but it sounds like you made this about enrollment and yes. bringing more awareness so that more kids can attend. Absolutely. I like Absolutely. that. It's very responsible. <laughs> yes, I mean, well, when we started to market it, we mm -hmm. planned for 200 kids, but okay. we started to push the marketing, and that 200 spiked to 700 in year Ooh. one. Oh so we knew in 2017 there was a large interest in learning mm -hmm. more about HBCUs. That's nice. So we do have a lot of entertainment packed during the week, but mm -hmm. the cornerstone of the event is the college fair to get kids into school and get them mm -hmm. scholarship dollars. I think that's really dope. Now, I do have a question about those who are currently enrolled in HBCUs. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to support, um, I don't know, um, opportunities within whatever their career path is or any kind of enrichment for those who are currently enrolled during this? Well, you know, right now our laser focus is on high school seniors and getting them into school. Um, mm -hmm. And it's not just a, a transactional relationship where we say, hey, here's the HBC admissions counselor, um, good luck in school, see you mm -hmm. later. It's a year round service. So nice. it's not only enrollment, but it's internship opportunities, mm -hmm. scholarship opportunities, wow. year round programming. And hopefully um, the goal is post-graduation job placement. So we follow this. these kids from their senior year in high yeah. school through the HBCU experience. This is really awesome. I know, um, so back when I was in high school, I won't say when, but when I was in high school, <laughs> the city of Wilmington, they had um, a program where they would take inner city kids onto college tours mm -hmm. and they were all like H HBCUs. And that's mm -hmm. how I actually learned about the school I went to. Um, so I think it's really awesome that you're focusing on enrollment specifically for HBCUs. Yeah. Um, and you're doing like a, a, a guidance where you're not just saying, hey, let me tell you about this and take this lollipop and go. Yeah. But to actually stay with them and, and guide them. I think that's awesome. So tell yeah. me about the events that you have going on. It starts September 26th through October 3rd, right? Yes. What do we have going on? Oh my gosh, on? I'm so many cool events. So we're <laughs> going to kick off the 26th with a day party at Deco. Love a good day party. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. always fun. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to do a 5K the next day at Brandywine Park. Okay. Um, health and wellness is very important in our community, so mm -hmm. we want to reinforce that. So we'll mm -hmm. do a 5K on Monday. Tuesday, we're going to round up about 300 eighth graders from the city of Wilmington and take them down to Delaware State for a college tour. 
That's awesome. Yeah, that's and an Delta exciting has so party. many big yeah. things going on oh right now. Oh my gosh, amazing. I'm really excited for Delaware's only HBCU. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else do you have popping off? Wednesday, mm -hmm. we have an R&B concert with Wale and Queen Naja. Oh. Yeah, and we'll I'm kick that. to see Wale. <laughs> I know, I'm so excited about that. I've never <laughs> seen Wale in concert. So I have, I'm so excited. It was a while excited. ago when he first started his career. So yeah. that'd be cool. I yeah. like his music. All right, what else you have going on? And we have a happy hour before that at Deco. So you go from the happy hour mm -hmm. to the concert. All right. Um, Thursday, we're having a panel discussion focused on the HBCU experience. Mm -hmm. So we'll have Dr. Tony Allen. Mm -hmm. Monet Davis will be here. She's All a right. Hampton student. Yeah. And it's going to be hosted by Jamila Mustafa, who is a Delaware State oh, alum. Yes. OK. Yeah. Oh, this is really nice. So um, what? hot ticket sponsors and uh, maybe celebs you have coming other than the ones you've already mentioned. Yeah, so Friday, very cool event. We're having mm -hmm. a comedy show. It's going to be hosted by Wanda Sykes. The Wanda Sykes. The Wanda Ooh, Sykes. Coming to Delaware. Delaware. Yes, <laughs> coming to Delaware to support HBCU Big Week. Things. I love yeah. it. Okay. It'll be at the Queen, so that's a hot ticket event for nice. sure. Mm -hmm. um, Saturday is our Battle of the Bands. It sells out every Can't year. Can't miss that. Oh my gosh. Every the energy year. is mm -hmm. so much fun. Okay. Yeah, and we have North Carolina Central, mm -hmm. Delaware State, mm -hmm. and Winston-Salem so far. Ooh. Looking for one more college, so be on the lookout for another announcement for that. Okay, all right. Yeah. All right. And then on, let's see, that was Saturday. Sunday, big block party. In front of Deco, we're going to mm -hmm. shut the streets down like they do for Jazz Fest. We'll have mm -hmm. local vendors, uh, music, food, just fellowship fun to give that authentic HBC oh, yes. tailgate experience. I love it. Yes. Yeah. That'll be so exciting. So, um, for those who want more information or maybe want to attend uh, any of the week-long events you have going on, mm -hmm. how can they get involved? What can they do? How can they get tickets? Sure. So for tickets to any of our events, please visit hbcuweek.org. Tickets are going at a rapid rate. So please get there as soon as you can to reserve your spot. Yes, definitely. It's a lot of events. <laughs> Listen, I'm super excited that um, you have this going on. I love that you're focusing on increasing enrollment at HBCUs. Um, I feel like for a bit there, they were kind of dying off. So yeah. to give special attention to it, that's so major. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's awesome. And the representation. That's big for me. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. I really appreciate your time, and mm -hmm. I look forward to seeing you. Okay. Thanks for having me. Alrighty. We're gonna go back over to the couch, and we'll be right back. <laughs>